Nighthawk is a Vacoma Flying Dutchman coaster located at Carowinds in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today I will be giving my review on this coaster and saying why this is not a bad ride and my second favorite Vacoma coaster I've ever ridden. So Nighthawk is actually a really good ride. It is currently my second favorite coaster, Carowinds, owned behind Fury 325. I actually went to Carowinds in 2018, and this probably would have been my third favorite ride at Carowinds if Afterburn was open. Unfortunately, that was closed all day. So currently, Nighthawk is my second favorite ride at Carowinds, owned behind Fury 325. Yes, I prefer this over Intimidator, um, because I thought Intimidator actually had a weak airtime. I'll probably do a review on Intimidator coming soon. Um, but I wanted to do a Nighthawk review first, since it's my second favorite coaster at Carowinds at the moment. Um, and this is just a really good ride. It's really intense. It's actually pretty smooth. I don't know why people say this thing is rough. When I rode in 2018, I thought this was a smooth ride. I say the only rough spot was the corkscrews, and the corkscrews weren't even that bad. Um, I just really enjoyed this ride, actually. Um, it is my second favorite Vacoma, only behind Stinger at Dorney Park. Um, which is now defunct, rip. Um, so, yeah, uh, I actually prefer this over Batwing and Six Rise America because I thought this ride was actually so good. I thought it was much more intense than Batwing, and that's actually why I liked it more because I thought it was more intense. I did not think it was smoother than Batwing, but it was still a pretty smooth ride. Uh, and there's something you could do with the corkscrews. The corkscrews are actually the roughest part of the ride, but if you lift yourself up kind of, on the restraints, like if you pull up on like your lap bar and kind of hold yourself up, then it will not be that rough because you're not laying flat on your back. And uh, the restraints are not that bad on Nighthawk either. Um, I just thought this was actually a really good ride and I was super impressed with it because I was going into Nighthawk with extremely low expectations thinking this is not going to be a good ride, I'm not going to enjoy this. However, I really enjoyed Nighthawk and I was a pretty big fan of it when I got off it and I was just... Thought it was a pretty fun ride, and I really enjoyed it. So now, I think it's about time we take a ride on Nighthawk. So you climb up 115 feet in the air, and then you descend off the lift hill. You curve into a flying position, which is actually a pretty cool part of the ride. I sat towards the back row, and I got whipped through this, so I thought it was a pretty good element. Then, you go down this pretty good drop and reach your top speed at 51 miles per hour. Now, I love this turn. This was probably my favorite part of the ride because it actually gave some air time and I really enjoyed it. Um, right here, you get flipped around and since I was in the back row, you I got whipped around it. Um, and then you go through this vertical loop, which is actually really intense. I almost grayed out um, on that loop at the bottom because that's a really intense element. And yeah, this ride is just really intense. Um, it was very impressive, like, uh, it was smooth, like, these elements were not that bad. Now, here's the corkscrews, the roughest part of the ride, but I didn't think they were that rough. I actually like the corkscrews on Nighthawk. Um, they're better than the aero corkscrews I've experienced on, like, Anaconda and Carolina Cyclone. So, yeah, that's Nighthawk on uh, uh, my POV. And for Nighthawk's final score, I'm going to give Nighthawk an 8.8, because I was actually really impressed with this ride. This ride is actually pretty smooth. It's very intense. Uh, is very whippy in the back row. That's my favorite row, without a doubt. Um, I only rode Nighthawk once when I went to Carowinds. However, I wish I rode it twice, um, but I wasn't able to. Um, but overall, this is just a very fun ride and a very, very underrated coaster. Probably one of the most underrated coasters I've ever experienced because this was just a really fun ride, and I really liked it. So, yeah, that is my review of Nighthawk at Carowinds. Please tell me your thoughts on Nighthawk in the, dis in the comments below. Keep coasting on my coaster demons. Peace.